There we go. Hey there, Dustin. My internet died. So yeah, it was nothing to do with your connections. The internet in my home just crapped out. Hopefully things should be fine now. I guess this quacks the closer I get to a Keroton doll. Gotta admit, that is pretty useful if you're trying to look out for them. And, huh, in some situations, it's worse than naked. Hmm, I'm still gonna stick to this. Okay, yeah. Uh, you can see the claymores if you just use the thermal goggles. The mine detector isn't necessary. I do wish I had more control over my internet so that doesn't happen too often. I could be wrong, but I think you need to pick up the claymores from a certain side. I don't know for sure if that's true, but I just want to be safe. Actually, since they're enemies, you're almost stick with the mine detector. Just so that way I'm not completely worried of where they are. Oh yeah, that's right, there's a dog here. Not for long. Bye, doggy. Oh, that was a tranquilizer, wasn't it? Crap. Okay, gotta kill it now. Bye. Bye, doggy. Wait, there's two of them? Hi, HQ. There better not be any reinforcements appearing from behind. And I was spotted, wasn't I? Well, I see the Claymore over here. Jesus, they blend in well with the terrain. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like any enemies came from the side. Good. Hello. I'm surprised that didn't cause the caution to go back up to 99. There we go. Oh. 
right when I turned off the mine detector. Man, I'm gonna need more bandages. Well, at least my health goes up. Yeah, I'm gonna see what's up here. Well, this is another wave gang over. That's why I love this game. There's just so many different ways to approach a situation. Really sucks I can't do like a one one round of ammo per shot. I have to let out several of them. Okay, there should be another dog somewhere around here. I should eat something. And I only have rations. Oh boy. I really should have caught more animals when I had the chance. are you doing? That guy just had an exclamation point going over his head multiple times. Oh, he's responding to the dog, isn't he? Ugh. Uh, yeah, I'll eat the ration. I was hoping to save this. Oh, that's not nearly as much as I thought it would. Alright. Yeah, you actually can regain more stamina on lower difficulty, so... I should have expected that. Bye, doggy. Jeez, I'm already almost out of ammo. Oh shit, there was a trap. a normal grenade. Dang it. Hello. Control 
You've already called it now. That wasn't all of them, was it? Oh crap, it was? I am overestimating the reinforcements. Well, I'm low on ammo. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. I forget if there is anything special up there or if it's just a face paint. I'm gonna go up there anyway. And are there any animals close by? Like... Jeez, the naked camel's really making me use stamina a lot. It's just something I'm not really used to compared to normal and even hard mode. But then again, I should have prepared more. Oh, come on, snake. I did not mean to do that. Man, this reminds me of Wind Waker. And I should be good. Yep, it's just camo. You guys have anything else? No, I didn't think so. And there's no one else here? Huh. Not even any animals. Oh boy. Hi, ah, this is gonna be rough. Do you want Well if anything, this is making me realize just how precious ammo is. There's going to be a ton of soldiers here. Grant, I know there's ammo and I probably should go for that first. And welcome back, Flash. Yeah, if you didn't, if you didn't hear me earlier, my internet cut out. That's why those dreams stopped. Oh, hello. I can barely go anywhere around here without being spotted. Who know fire support frequency? <laughs> Answer me. And why are those frequencies? If you want to learn more? Take a look at the survival viewer map. <laughs> Speak. You lousy. Well, if you're not going to talk anymore. Eh, I could really use more AK ammo. Well, I hit him. This is HQ. We're all here. We're being attacked. Enemy position is unknown. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. Perfect. Oh, 
Oh god, I need food. Oh, hello. And things are just about to get really bad. I don't care about suppressors. Just gonna save ammo. Eh, what do you have? What hit me? It wasn't the door, was it? Yeah, I'm going out this way. And I'm still not safe, of course not. Oh my god. I can't blame the game for slowing down here. Got one. Goodbye. Nice jump. Oh god. Uh Yeah, I'm using my life medicine. Good headshot. Perfect. Oh, this has been tense. I should start working on getting over to the other side to the weapons, to their weapon di disposal. It's probably not the right word. Their shed. I think this is food. Oh. More life medicine. I'll definitely take that. I am not going to let the stream die on me again. Come on. At least we're not in a word. But yeah. I have nothing. I really gotta change that. I see him. No, you don't. Uh, where is it? Okay, TNT. Good. I really hope uh, my... Oh, I just remembered my health rec recovery is tied to my stamina. So I, could, so I could be recovering almost nothing right now. Because my stamina is that low. Okay, three pieces of TNT. That's all I need. I see him. Shut up. I'll kill this guy in an interesting way. Or I could get killed myself. Eh, this is going about how I expected it to. Snake, 
Okay, still no ammo. I'm gonna have to change that. Okay, how will you move? I'll just kill him right now and start the alert. Well, I said kill, but never mind. Oh. Wow, that was bad aim. Goodbye. Not sure where the reinforcements will appear. I think they actually can appear from one of the two entrances from the other areas. Or they could appear from over there. Oh, I am screwed. Goodbye. I could give me ammo that I can actually use. Oh, that's right, I can pick these guys up. Please have AK ammo. It's better than anything else. Oh, what's in here? Goodbye. Oh. I cannot allow these guys to live. Well, the cowrie mate's always nice. But nothing like a good old rat. Cowery mate, I'm gonna want to save that for later. I'll just use a ration. That's better. Shut up. Oh. And another mousetrap. I don't think I'll be able to get much from destroying their food de deposits. Oh, hello! Crap, spotted. And that better not be a grenade. That's a... Is it? No, it's the rat. Haha. <laughs> oh boy. And I was affected too. Run. Nope, I'm dead. Well. Yeah, this is interesting. I can't exactly aim headshots well with this. Actually. There we go, that's what I was wanting. Now, please have AK ammo. Nope. Right, I'm gonna need to collect the, those rats all over again. It still wasn't a kill. 
Hello. Oop. Go magnet hands. Just what I needed. But it wasn't enough. Well, I didn't expect to get to one of these points quickly, where I would have to do a bunch of retries. And that's taken care of. I want to at least try to get some food. That stomach growling bear not give away my location. I wonder. Huh? What's that sound? I think I can drag that guy over here. There we go. Who answer me? I don't have anything. Who speak? Under the bed. Thank you. <laughs> well, I already knew that stuff, so you you're useless to me. I am gonna have to sell off an ord eventually. Okay, it looks like these guys actually have fixed ammo. Not what I thought. Huh? What's that sound? I should probably get my ammo then run. Yep, they're getting ready to attack. That'll do for now. I'll come back for the rats later. There was someone in that direction. Snoring on a word is going to be the death of me. I really should prepare how I want to start this. Actually, do I have any magazines? I should. Three. Eh, good enough. And that wasn't loud enough. Who's that? Yep. Damn it.
Um, hmm. Part of me wants to save the life medicine for later, but nah. It's probably better to use it now when I have so little life to go by. And besides, there's some right here. I'm thinking of saying a claymore somewhere. Just to get rid of those who are trailing me. So many weapons in this game. Hello! I'm actually surprised he didn't see me right away. Yeah, I know that's slower, but I kinda prefer like that so that way my shots actually count instead of just spreading them all over the place. Well, they're gonna be dead soon. Cover yourself. Oh god, this looks like something out of the Matrix with how much slowdown there is. <laughs> that was amusing. Did they shoot through the helicopter's window? Alright. Okay, where is that TNT? Do I have to detonate the first one? I guess so. I hope that gets their attention. Up. Oh. Okay, I guess I guess I said here. Come on, I want to blow you all up. Oh, never mind. Thank you, Auto Wayne. Uh, yeah, using the other life medicine. Where's that other guy? Oh, there he is, then. Oh my god. Eh, I'll set this off for the hell of it. Bye, helicopter. Please have more AK ammo, he should. Nope. Ah, come on. I got so far too. I think it's like I was told last stream, I just need to find the radio guy and kill him.
Oh, thank God that guy was looking the other way. Oh, guy, he's about to shoot those barrels. Time to get out of here. Shoot him! Snake! I don't want you turning around. Well, so much for escaping that field, Kingdom Hearts 2 level 1. I was hoping I wouldn't have to retry over and over again, but, well... This is just how a game's gonna be. Okay, I'm gonna try to get over here before I'm spotted. Yeah, it looks like that's inevitable. Shoot them! There we go. Uh, hello there, Kevin. I'm not entirely sure what you mean by that. There we go. And, yeah, I'm using this. I already decided that I might as well while my while my health is still low. Yo. That roll's useful, but man does have a lot of end lag. Well, I destroyed a radio, man. Please tell me I have something good. Right, there are trenches below here I can use. If I can crawl down here. Oh, that's right, this is here. And, hello. I'm probably gonna die again. Hello, machine gun.
If I can kill another one of them, that will help. And do I have claymores? Just to interrupt those who come in. I dare you. Ah, worst possible timing to pause. Was getting the TNT out. Should have killed one of them. I can't tell. This gun sucks. They didn't even kill that guy with the TNT explosion. be the last of the radio guys. Oh, we got to see this. Having to perform surgery on yourself like that has got to suck. I couldn't tell because of low quality. Was he stitching the wound up or was he just putting a bandage around it? I'd assume he was stitching it. Not gonna be attacked by a machine gun. Oh, reinforcements here too. I know the exit's right there, but I gotta clear this area. Just a part of my challenge rules. Gotta stop the orb by wiping out everybody. But I might as well kill some rats on the way. Much better. Okay, full stamina. Not sure where else there would be enemies. Where? Oh, there. Oh! Another radio guy. Just because I can. Crap. 
That was way too risky. I better not come all this way just to die. Reinforcements are still showing up. Oh. Huh. I don't think I've ever acquired this before. Get out from under there. There's still someone here with a radio. Well, at least I'm getting some more health back. I could have actually curious why it was an evasion. Bye, helicopter. Oh. I didn't kill him, did I? If I did, that would be amazing. See you. Okay, it sounds like I got them all. Oh, no. How many other radio guys are there? Oh. That should have answered my question. Shoot him! Oh. With my last bit of ammo, did I... Yes, I got them all! Oh my god, that took a while. Ugh, I'm saving. I know that if I reset the game, then all the enemies will come back, but... I think I've already proven myself just by killing all these guys here. If something does happen that makes me reset, then... I'm just going to sneak past all of them. I think that's fair. <sighs> it's finally over. Killed so many of them. I'm going to be saving my TNT. Good thing I won't have to deal with this later. Yeah, I know what's coming up next, so... I really want to get my health back up. I know that's going to be tedious considering how long it takes. So I'm just going to be hunting for animals, I guess. If I can find any. I 
really shouldn't be putting the controller so close to the microphone, but I just get so tense that my hands move on their own. Okay, I should have enough AK ammo for the fight. Come on, my life can recover faster than that. Please. Well, this is a predicament. I can't rest on the beds, can I? I don't think so. Yeah, I didn't think I could. I should not have this on. I want some more. I love that line. Okay, I should start healing a bit faster now. And hopefully it won't have my stamina drain as fast. Yeah, there's no animals here. I'm actually better off just standing still. Because my stamina doesn't drop if I don't move around. Well, guess I might as well talk about the challenge so far. It's been interesting. Like, this is definitely way more different than I was expecting. I mainly did this because I thought it'd be cool to play Metal Gear Solid in a much more aggressive way. But I didn't really take into account how sparse ammo could be. That is going to make especially some boss fights more interesting. So I'm really going to need to be handling some dead bodies more. Yeah, just in those three seconds I recovered more health than I did over the past three minutes. But man, is it slow. It was definitely an interesting decision to have the health bar like this. As for where I should stop, hmm. Well, optimally, I should wait until it's completely full. And my stamina hasn't even dropped at all. Yeah, that's just the effect of not doing anything. Putting this on doesn't drain my stamina, does it? I don't think it would. I really do have to wonder what it must have been like when people figured out that you could destroy that helicopter. I mean, I certainly didn't figure that out on my own. Although one of my friends who play this game, he actually did figure it out by complete accident. He did just to see if it would work and lo and behold, he was able to blow up the helicopter with TNT. That's, that's just an element that makes me really enjoy revisiting this game. I 
always figure out something different. That's also something that people compliment Zelda Breath of the Wild for. That you can really do... It seems like you can do almost anything you want with the enemies. Like, they give you so many different ways to interact with enemies. And not just enemies, but with the whole environment as well. And usually when you think something will work, then it will work. And it is pretty impressive as far as Zelda goes, but... Some part of me still thinks Metal Gear Solid 3 did it better. I don't know, I just feel like there's so many more things that you can do to mess around than you can in Zelda. That's not to say Breath of the Wild isn't impressive, I just think Metal Gear Solid 3 tops it by just a slim margin. And heck, I don't even know everything that you can do in MGS3. Like, I barely even experimented with some of the bonus items that you can get from completing the game. Like, the monkey mask. I've seen it before, but... I have no clue what the details of it are, nor how you get it. Well, at least my health reco is recovering faster than I was expecting, but... Yeah, I can imagine this being pretty boring to sit through. Yeah, what else to talk about? Well, I guess to talk about the plot for a bit... Uh, I'll be honest, I'm not too big on it. I know, I'm pretty certain there are people out there who adore this story, and... At first, I, I admit I couldn't get why. Probably my biggest issue with this plot is that for about 50% of the game, nothing happens. Like, you remember during the last stream, there was just tons and tons of exposition, and it was really draining me out, and I'm... I'm pretty certain it drained some other people out. But... At this point where we're at, with how little story we, we've received, it's gonna be like that for a very, very large chunk of the game. Like, we'll be getting very little cutscenes until we're about... 70% um, through the game. Then it's gonna start overloading us with scenes again. Yeah, for this next cutscene here, I think I'll keep it in. It's entertaining enough. A part of me is thinking of uh, going back to that stream and editing out the cutscenes, just to see what it's like. Fortunately, with the way yeah, YouTube's editing software works, I can edit the stuff out, but then save that as a new video. Just in case someone actually does care about the cutscenes. It's also pretty nice that this uses no stamina. I can heal as much as I want, and I don't have to worry about my stamina draining. Granted, it does take a while. I think we've been standing here for like, six minutes straight. Oh well. And maybe I don't think I would've used the life medicine here either. That's just too rare of an item to use it just on something that you can get rid of with waiting. Does Snake have blood on his left arm? I think he does. I don't think... Has that always been there? I don't think so. Like, I'm pretty certain that was the arm the boss broke, but I don't think it was really bleeding that much. I don't remember that being there during the cutscenes, but I could be wrong. This game also does quite a lot with it uh, showing us it, with it doing a... How do I phrase this? The game has a lot of hidden details. Like, something I could do right now, but I won't, is that if you go into the, uh, the cure menu and you use uh, the camera to rotate Snake around, Snake will throw up. I'm not going to show it off because that uses stamina, but yeah, that's something really cool. Okay, almost there. Does this use stamina? Oop. Oh. 
I don't think it does. It'd be really stupid if it that actually consumes some stamina. Uh, how many more pixels is that? Uh, ten more, maybe? I just hope the people watching weren't too bored like this. I mean, too bored by this. Yeah, my vocabulary sucks. I don't even know what I'm doing with the camera here. Hey, what's it look like here? Yeah, like, how did people play with this? Like, your visibility is just so limited. I actually know a couple of people who outright couldn't play the game with this. So close now. This already feels like the Stanley Parable where we're just waiting around for something to happen. Or in the viewer's case, waiting for me to actually say something. Huh, eh, how interesting. And looks like it's full. Just gonna save right here just to make sure that in case if I die, I'll still have all my health. It'd really suck if I died and it had to refill my health again. Come on. Goodbye, paramedic. I am stupid. I'm not waiting for that. Yeah, that's just a little bit too much. Okay, the AK. Uh... Yeah, I'll equip that just for sake of shooting down beehives. And hi there, uh... I'm not entirely sure what I call you, just Americans? Yeah, I think I'll just go with Americans for now. Well, welcome to the stream. I hope you just came in now instead of having to sit through what just happened. Okay, that should be good. And, yeah, I'll be fine. Okay, get out from here. Hello. Ah, you're here at last. Looks like the boss's info was right. Man, hey, Jamarcus. Nice to see you come in. Even though it's pretty late into the stream. Ocelot, you show off. Twice now you've made me taste bitter defeat. I hate to disappoint the cobras. Okay, this is stupid here. It's your mind. So he called all these soldiers here. All of you, leave us. And tells them not to do anything. It's just you and me. No one to get in our way. Ocelots are proud creatures. They prefer to hunt alone. And it begins. The most impressive part about this scene is that this was actually done in real life. This was all motion captured. Eh, fair enough. Twelve shots. You just 
sneak around enemies, or in my case, kill them all. With Metal Gear Solid 3, you don't really need to know too much about the background in order to enjoy it. All you really need to know is that it's the Cold War, Europe is trying to develop a, a, a nuclear weapon, and you gotta stop them. Like, of course there's more to it, that, but that's kind of the basic premise. Oh yeah, and the main character is boss defected, and he's conflicted in whether or not he should kill her. That's another thing. I've kind of been showing the cutscenes, so I guess you can look back at them. No, you won't. Oh, I should kill this guy. Okay, so even though there is a boss on the other side, there's also a King Cobra here that can poison us. But fortunately, we can use him as food. Should probably stay in cover. You won't get away from me. Up, oh, I should duck. Just make him use up his ammo. I do kind of like the music here. Oh, he actually hit me. I've never felt attention like this before. Yeah, you can shoot him while he's reloading. And shoot the beehive since he's hiding from us. Does that damage him? Uh, uh, damn it. Uh, oh, I can actually throw a grenade. Ah, uh, oh, it didn't hit him. Not bad. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I think he has a bit of invincibility when he gets up. So I probably shouldn't try to shoot too much. You won't get away from me. There we go. Take this. Up, he's doing the same thing I did. And nothing came to attack me. All right. Ah. This is going to be tricky. I really just need to get back into cover quickly. Oh good, we don't have fit to get back over here. Okay, they missed. Yeah, fortunately, this guy wants to take him on by herself. Or by himself. Damn it. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip those scenes. Uh, what happened? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Yeah, I can barely afford to get shot. I can't really act heal. Oh, I can shoot him right now. Yeah, the way you heal in this game is your is your health gradually heals by itself. There are healing items, but they're extremely rare. And unfortunately, I used all of mine. Uh, where are you? Crap. I should have gone back into cover. <laughs> you show off. 
happened to you? Snake! Snake! I didn't know that he could juggle his guns like that when he kills me. I probably already said that a lot of times that I didn't know something about the game. And fortunately, the auto aim is okay. Up. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'm curing that. Yeah, that was the King Cobra I was talking about. Uh, oh, that's food poisoning. Or. I was just reading the word poison, not what type of poison it was. Hold your fire! Okay, let's get you out of the way. You won't get away from me. His counterattack seems pretty basic. You just shoot him and then he shoots back. And now he'll reload. Actually, what happens if I went out of four of your bullets? Nothing special. Some enemies, or some bosses, you can fire a bunch of shots at them, but I guess not this guy. Come on. Okay, now throw a grenade. I could probably use these a bit more often. No. Not with how little health I have. And I probably shouldn't have wasted my bullets earlier. I see you. I've never felt the tension like this Did I hit him? Damn it. I think I did. Oh, actually, yeah, his stamina. Hmm. Well, I want to actually kill him, not stamina kill him. Oh, more grenades. Good. Yeah, I don't think I can get more AK ammo. Oh. Did he just bounce his bullets off of the terrain? Okay. Yes, I can. I probably shouldn't be shooting him more than one time. Yeah, you're gonna need their help. Too far. Yeah, unfortunately, he moves around too much for grenades to be too reliable. Yeah. I surely need to land two more shots, but that's all I've got here. Or just one. All right. Man, that took a while.
it was still fun. And here's where things get stupid. Found us. So one of the commanding soldiers on the European side, basically he can summon hornets. But this show off here, he kills them by spinning his guns. And hey there, Nick. Nice to see you found it. I guess I should provide a link in the Discord, shouldn't I? Like, I put one there before, so I thought you would have found it naturally. Guess not. I hope you're not scared of bees. And somehow he's perfectly fine. Like, look at this. I don't think that should actually work. You were lucky. We'll meet again. Hmm. Oh well. And Snake is somehow just fine too, even though they're actually on him. That's one way to escape them. One single bullet left from my AK. Yeah, I still had some left here. And this is just my trank gun, which I'm not using. Well, let's contact our Major and tell him what happened. Snake, are you okay? Snake! Major. Snake. Are you alright? You're not hurt? No. That was a hell of a drive. Ugh. Fine. Looks like there's no way back up, though. I was stung pretty well, anyway, badly twice when I was a kid, injured. but Slipping I was never that scared may of bees. Not part of the plan, but getting into that cave was. Proceed further into the cave. The cave seems to be structured like a maze, but there's an exit somewhere. And how do you know that? Out of the cave and head for the aqueduct. All right, but it might take me a while to get through this cave. Are you hurt? No. Is it the enemy? Did they set a trap for you? Not that either. Then what is it? It's dark in here. You dark. wuss. Yeah, there's no light anywhere. I should have brought a flashlight with me. So what you're saying is that it's going to take you a while because you don't have a flashlight. Right. Snake, if you don't have a flashlight, you should be looking for a substitute. I tell you, American soldiers these days rely too much on ready-made equipment. Here we go again. What was that? Nothing. American soldiers rely too much on ready-made equipment. Not Some of this that, is kind of fluff, but there's also pretty interesting dialogue. Functions. Back when I was in the SAS, we never had that problem. We were trained to use every piece of equipment in as many ways as possible. If you don't have a flashlight, look for something else. You need to develop flexible, innovative thinking if you want to. Hey, are you listening to me? Maybe. Yeah, of course I am. First, take a look at what you're carrying with you now. Don't you have anything that can provide you with some light? We actually do. I was actually going to be stopping a stream after the boss fights, maybe because it seemed like a good stopping point, but I guess it will listen to some codec conversations. Anyway, we do have a cigar that can help us see. It damages our health, so we can't use it too much. But yeah, it's almost completely dark here. Can we see anything by firing? Nope. And there goes the last of my AK. I'll save here for now. You wanna save? Hold on a sec. Unfortunately, saving takes a while. Four hours, huh? I don't know if that's counting the amount of times I've died as well. Because in Kingdom Hearts 2, if you died, the game actually didn't count your save time. This might be counting it, I'm not sure. Snake, have you seen 007 from Russia with Love? I've been skipping these movie convos, but Real spies this is interesting. Bond. It's pure fantasy. Snake, I don't think the Major's going to like you saying that. And even though it's fiction, 
can't help but comparing myself to Bond. What exactly don't you like about James Bond? I mean, is it the fantastic gadgets, the cars, the guns? Major. I love the Snake, chemistry between these like guys. Have a gun shaped like a pen? What good is a pen gonna do me in the jungle? I'd look like a fool. Then but you'd look a like a nerdy fool. Gun? You can make it look like you're grappling with a giant snake and then get a shot in on the enemy while they're distracted. Ah. Okay, now you're being ridiculous. That's what I was make thinking. You a snake shaped gun that folds up and fits into an attache case. Will you give it a rest? Oh, I get it. You're worried about how to handle the ladies, aren't you? No. I knew it. Hm, to tell you the truth, I don't like the idea of playing hanky panky with enemy femme fatales either. Does anyone say That's hanky panky anymore? Opinion. You could learn a thing or two from him. I mean, what about this Eva? What are you planning to do with her? I, uh, I don't even trust her yet. No, that's not what I mean. You, you can't let yourself get involved. This is a game of spy versus spy. Let your fantasy go to rest. You're using her. I realize that. You've got to grab the initiative, and to do that, you have to get the upper hand in the relationship. That's what a spy is supposed to do. They notice that. Get the upper hand. I don't think I'm cut out for that mission. Maybe if you change your code name to Double O Snake. Available in Super Smash Brothers 5. The biggest thing to come out of England since the Mayflower. I wouldn't be surprised if they made 20 more of those movies. How many more 007 movies are there? Major is a huge James Bond fan. Don't get him worked up like this. Worked up? Maybe you don't realize this, but now that you've got him started talking about Bond, I'm going to have to listen to him lecture for a whole hour after he gets off the radio. You have my sympathy. It's too bad you can't enjoy such a great movie, though. I guess I'm just one of those people who can't enjoy spy flicks. Well, well. Yeah, there are some types of movies we just can't really enjoy that much. I wonder what Sigan has to say. You got yourself an AK-47, huh? The AK yeah, I'm not gonna bother with this. There is one thing I want to talk with Sigan's about. Uh, I don't have it here, so let's take it out. I'm sure you remember this about Snake, his cardboard box from his Smash taunt. Well, it's always been seen as ridiculous in the Metal Gear Solid series that something as stupid as hiding in a cardboard box actually works, especially in a cave this dark. Yeah, this franchise knows just how stupid it is, and we're just about to see the origins of it. Uh, Snake, what are you doing? I'm in a box. A cardboard box? Why are you... I don't know. I was just looking at it. And suddenly I got this irresistible urge to get inside. No. Not just an urge. More than that. It was my destiny to be here. In the box. Destiny? Yeah. And then when I put it on, I suddenly got this feeling of inner peace. I can't put it into words. I feel... safe. Like this is where I was meant to be. Like I'd found the key to true happiness. Uh huh. Does any of that make sense? Not even a little. You should come inside the box. Then you'll know what I mean. Man, I don't want to know what you mean. Between you and Paramedic, is everyone but me that is hooked up with the Major Strange? Uh -huh. Yeah, well. Anyway, I suppose even that dumbass box might make a decent disguise if you wear it inside a building. Yeah, I should have mentioned that. This is actually the first game in the Metal Gear Solid timeline. So yeah, that's the first time anyone with the codename Snake has put a cardboard box on. It was pretty interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure if there are any other interesting codec conversations. I can think of one more. If I can find the right item. I don't know if I will. Jesus, it's dark. I don't think I have night vision goggles. I think I could have gotten them, but I just missed them. No way, I think I find them in here. I think this is the first time I've actually brought the map here. Hmm. I don't really want to advance much further, though, admittedly. Just thinking of how I want to end this. Oh, I know how to end this.
Let's go back to Sagan's. So Sagan's here, he's basically your guy you want to talk to if you want to learn more about the weapons you have, and he also talks about your camouflage. But we're not wearing any camouflage right now. The camouflage we have right now is called Naked. Let's see what he has to say to it. Snake, what's up? Why are you naked? I know there's a naked option under uniform that lets you take off the upper part of your uniform. But without a shirt on, your camouflage sucks, and your stamina goes down faster. You don't get any advantages whatsoever. Sure there are. Like what? It feels good. Man, you do whatever you want. <laughs> I will, thanks. Just one question, though. What? Is there a way to take off my pants? <laughs> Say what? <laughs> my pants, can I? Oh, hell no. This fox unit is a nut fest. <laughs> Oh, I love this game. Parts of it, that is. These conversations are awesome. Hey, yeah, I guess I'll end things off there. I'll probably just save to make sure all the conversations stay like that. But yeah, this game has some pretty glaring weak points, like, the pacing of the plot is really weird. Because where I am right now, we pretty much make no advancement in the plot for about 40% of the, the game. Nope, doesn't ring a bell. It's a Japanese movie where the world ends in a nuclear war. Tensions between East and West reach the breaking point, and before anyone can stop it, they launch the ICBMs. Eh. Humanity is wiped out by a war that no one wanted. The movie depicts that destruction from the both options would have been nice. Their simple daily lives are torn apart by the terrible power of a war that has nothing to do with them. Everybody's afraid of the next big war, but there's only so much that one person. Oh yeah, this game takes place during the Cold That's War. Why the people who have the power to stop it have to. So yeah, that's why there's a lot of talk about nuclear tension because that's what the Cold War was about. I was just about to end things here, but I guess there's not really much repercussion, so I'll show it off here right now. So I was talking about this earlier, like about 20 minutes earlier, but it didn't seem like a good time to do it because I care about my stamina. But now I don't. So in this cure menu, this is where you tend to snake's injuries. And you can also rotate the camera in order to see his whole body. But if we rotate his body like this over and over again... Something interesting happens. He throws up. Yeah. The attention to detail in this game is staggering. Like I was saying earlier, I think it's on par if not surpasses Zelda Breath of the Wild. Like, it's pretty crazy. And the scariest part is that this actually has a legitimate tactical use later in the game. But I'll show that off later when we get to it. Anyway, I'm really ending things, things off here. You may not have joined at the best time, Nick, but it was nice to see you, hey, you come in. So I'll see you some other time. I may jump in the Discord for a bit before I close off. I mean, before I go to sleep, but... 